Come on down. Come on down. Boy, y'all were singing so good tonight. Today I saw y'all clapping and singing and all that. Y'all looked great. Come on over here, Timmy. There you go. Y'all come on in. Tuck it in close there. Come on down, children. Hi, look at all these pretty colors you got on today. Have a seat there somewhere. You want that chair? Go ahead. There you go. You got it. You got it. There you go, honey. Well, you know, today I'm going to talk to the big people about a man that was sitting out in front of a church, and nobody invited him in the church, and he didn't feel like he could go in the church. And he was sitting out there, and he had a problem. He was sick. And when uh, people would come in, he would say, You got any money you can help a guy out that's sick? I've been sick a long time. And so when um, the disciples of Jesus, people like yourself that go to church regular, when they went in, they saw him sitting out front. They walked over to him, and they said, How you doing? They said hello to him. And um, he said, Have you got anything you can give a poor fellow out here? And they said, Well, we don't have any money. But we do have something that we can give you. So be healed. Not be sick anymore. And so they reached down to the man and took him by the hand and said, Come on, stand up. You know what? He stood up. Look at him. He's strong. And as soon as he got his strength, he walked in the church with them and he sat down. Sit down. You're doing a good job here. Thank you. Miss Cindy's sick right now, so y'all have to be my helpers. And so... That he went into church, and you know what? He had a smile on his face. He had a big smile on his face, and he was so happy. And everybody looked at him and says, What's going on? You're checking to make sure he really does have a smile. So I only never see him with a smile. And so he had a big smile on his face, and he started telling people, These men helped me to get well. And they, and Jesus is the one. And so, you know what the, the, pre- the, the people that come to church started doing, don't you? They said, well, if the preacher can preach, so can we. So they started talking to everybody and telling them about Jesus and inviting them to give their life to Jesus. And do you know what? The people in the church, they got upset. Had a frown on their face. And that frown on the Put a frown on your face now. And um, put a frown on your face. And they had a frown on their face. And the result is that they looked like they were unhappy. And why were they unhappy? Because he was praising Jesus, and that's they didn't like that. So you know what they did? They threw him in jail. You can frown for that. That's bad. I won't be thrown in jail. No, don't smile. What are you looking at me for? I'm not thrown in jail. Not yet. Don't smile. And they they, uh, they took and they threw him in jail. Next day they let him out. And do you know what happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five thousand people gave their life to Jesus. That's a bunch of folks. That's more than came over to your house for dinner, and uh, that's a that's a big crowd. And so you can have a seat. You don't have to stand up. I like your pretty shoes, though. And so and and I like those colors you wear in there too. Your shoes are nice too. And uh, so 5,000 people got saved. And you know why? Not because the preacher said anything, but because the boys and girls and the people, they were so happy. Well, I wanted to help you remember that this morning, so I brought you a picture. A picture. Yeah. Kind of like Thanksgiving turkey, isn't it? And it says, Jesus lives in my heart. And that turkey's happy because nobody killed that turkey. Did you kill your turkey? Oh, my goodness. You ate your turkey? Oh, that po- Oh, you had a ham. You saved the turkey's life. Okay, good. Well, your turkey was very happy. That's the reason there's a picture here of a happy turkey. So, when we take and tell it this morning, I want you to come exactly like you think that that turkey felt that he got his life spared and how you think that that man felt because he gave his life to Jesus that day. Okay? So, why don't you help me and give one to everybody? And you want to help me? Timmy, you want to help me and give everybody one? You boys are big. You can help. Okay, give everybody one. Give everybody one. That's it. Give everybody one. All right. Everybody got one now? All right, good. Well, you can keep the extras. 
Okay? That's yours. That way you can color more. Thank you all for helping me this morning tell the Bible story. And we look forward to seeing you 